Hi, I'm Moody. I'm feeling moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Gemini. Gemini is the sign of choice and the sign of love. This reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Leo. It's love brief. Right now, middle of February, Holy Spirit, the love brief, Gem Gemini. I want to say, could involve a Gemini, Leo. Maybe this involves a Gemini. Something's going on. Anything else, Spirit? Oh. Leo. Okay. Set your intentions higher. It's time to do the unexpected and be grateful for the little things. Then be, big things will come. Mm. Okay. So this could involve a Pisces. You have two signs of Pisces, two cards that say Pisces. Okay. Spirit saying, shut up, Moody, and get some cards on the table for Leo before you open your mouth. Okay. Bear with me, Leo. It takes me some time for the cards to drop. It also takes me some time to build the message. Right? I am a reader that has to build the message. Right? And I like to see the cards drop, so... In the order they fell. So, mm -hmm. okay. Bear with me throughout this reading so that we could get the best message for you regarding love at this time. Well, what is it, Lord? Okay. More than enough cards, right? <laughs> so these fell first. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. It fell, so we're taking it. Not that we need any more cards, but it's all, it's all good. Leo, love brief. Set your intentions higher. You know, I feel like a lot of things have changed with you. Um, maybe on the job. Maybe starting a new job. Some of you went to school. You have a new craft. Um, some of you have just changed your mindset. Something is hot. Is changed where you think higher of yourself definitely you you've grown you've grown leo we all are unawakened we go from an unawakened state to awaken all of a sudden we know and once you know you can't unknow hmm yeah, there's something that needs to be let go of. It involves the justice card, balancing the scales. Think about it, rest on it, or you have been, Leo. The emperor, the empress is at the center of the reading. You also appear with the strength card reverse in the future. OMG, but look how, look what you have. You have six major arcanas in a row. I've never seen that ever. What? That's all about you growing, setting your intentions higher. Something unexpected, something rare, something, I feel the tower. I don't see the tower here, but you have every other dag nugget. Major Arcana, you open up with the Hermit talking about invention, reinvention. The Hermit takes time to be alone, to get in tune with their self, to get a deeper introspective view of a situation. And when it comes to love, I think that's what you've done. 
maybe love has forced somebody to have a deeper opinion. Because uh, you do have the Hierophant here at the end of your card. And this is all about your growth. One cycle is coming to an end so that something new can begin. All of this change, a lot of change here, makes somebody feel very uncomfortable. The Strength card is reversed. Could be you, Leo. You are the Strength card. But you know that you can easily reverse that, that courage and confidence resides within. And it takes courage and confidence to reinvent yourself, to change your feelings, to know that you deserve more. When it comes to love, your definition of love has changed and you're prepared to do something different. You're going from an unawakened state, even from an unknowledgeable state to a state where you do have knowledge. When all the majors show up, when God shows up in your life, like I said, once you are awakened, you can't go back. And so maybe somebody needs to go back because the scales are unbalanced they have to make something wrong right with you. Mm. Yeah, this cycle is coming to an end. Something new is beginning and somebody's not maybe ready. Mm. Yeah, but you know what? Everything that they need to get ready, everything that they need to... Focus on what they have, being grateful for what they have, being grateful for the lesson that they've learned right now. Because look, reinvention is hard. Growth is hard. It's hard to change yourself. You did something that was unexpected. And, you know, it's rare that people rise from this occasion. So you've definitely had a spiritual awakening, epiphany. <laughs> Six majors in a row. I've never seen it. Major. So, you know, you have within you, Leo, everything to get whatever it is that you want. To at least go after it. And if you don't get it, then you just continue to pursue until you do get it. What is it? Love. There's a new definition, the way you feel about it, your beliefs regarding it, what you're willing to give, to take. Growth. Yeah. Those are, are the hierophant stairs for me. Absolutely. Because, you know, we come in with a certain set of beliefs, usually from whatever we receive from our parents or lack of a parent. <clears throat> But then life happens to us and, you know, whatever happens always adds to you if you allow it by learning the lesson and then continuing on, not letting it stop you, stunt you right there, but having the courage and the strength to continue on, to believe that everything, these were growth pains and everything resides in you. Now that your beliefs have changed, tell me more. Leo. Where love is concerned. Oh. Yeah, I knew this was about justice. Right, you, something that was done that is a wrong needs to be righted. Okay, where love is concerned. The Empress twice could involve a Taurus, could involve, but it involves somebody who is an Empress. Somebody who's chosen you. Wow, Leo, somebody did something wrong and they need to make it right. It and they did it to somebody who's chosen. Yes, look at this one, two, three, three more majors in a row. This is somebody's conscience is being beaten up with the fact that they need to balance the scales. <sighs> Somebody had to change to do the right thing. It's their conscience. What? Right. 
somebody, Leo, um, you're going to do something that's unexpected, right? People expect you to act one way, but you're going to do something that's totally unexpected. It's going to, didn't I say that? <gasps> Regarding this empress, you, you could be, I don't know who's, leave me a comment, tell me what's going on. This is current energy where this love is concerned, where love in general, you, there's an elevation where love is in general. In this reading, you don't get these many major arcanas, one, two, and especially in a row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten majors. Leo. God is like, there's a spiritual change. There is something major. You have the justice card twice. Somebody's been sleeping on making things right. Keep going back and forth. Meanwhile, time is of the essence. Oh, yeah. Spirit doesn't show up like this for no reason. Whenever spirit shows up in a reading. Yeah, somebody's all in their head. Nine of Wands. Oof. Maybe there's a question on how to make it right with you, Leo. How do I make it up to Leo? How do... I don't know what is keeping somebody off balance, a lack of confidence. They don't feel that they can, that they have the wherewithal to change the situation. Somebody feels at a loss. Mm -hmm. Spirits like listen to your intuition and apply some work, you know, realize what happened. Be grateful for what didn't happen, but be grateful for what you have, what did happen. There's something that he is calling your attention to regarding. Be grateful for the little things and then big things will come. There's a lot that you don't know with this Piscean energy, but Taking a step where this love situation is concerned, where justice is concerned. Mm. Page of Cups, Prince of Cups can also be an apology. You know, an apology, admitting somebody was immature. Now they've grown with the Hierophant. Now they feel differently. Tell me more. Tell me more about this love for Leo. New insight, new intentions where love is concerned. Whatever brought it on, you're here. You went through a lot of challenges, but this is all about you making the right decision. Healing. Healing the past. Some of you are healing as this new cycle is coming in. You know, this person, Leo, who you need to balance the scales with, or they need to balance the scales, they need to set a wrong right. This is about setting a wrong right. This person, you two are at different locations. You don't live together uh, far. You're physically far, I feel. Yes, and you're definitely emotionally far. You have the, the page of cups. Um, there's a big gap there emotionally because this right needs to be wrong. And somebody needs to make a decision. They keep going back and forth because they really don't feel confident or courageous enough to step forward. But they need to. They need to close this gap. There's This distance needs to be closed in a just way and so therein lies the issue <sighs> oh my goodness look at this someone has something to tell you Yeah, someone has to tell you something, Leo. Somebody has to step forward to make 
this situation right. Tell me more. It's time to do it. It's time to do it. But this person is not close in terms of um, proximity. You or them have had a change of heart. When spirit shows up, he brings change. And mm, boy, has he shown up. Leave me a comment because this is a deep change. Something has deeply changed in you, in them. This is somebody you're far apart from. Yeah, they don't, you don't live in the same town. You don't live this distance. And you know what? Emotionally, the distance just keeps growing. And that's why Spirit is saying, close the gap. Open your mouth and say what you have to do. Say to make this imbalance balance. To make a wrong right. To show that you have had a change of heart. Hmm. Where this situation is concerned, some of you may, somebody may need to set their intentions higher, really change their heart and show it, you know, by stepping forward. What else, spirit? Leo. Final words here for Leo. Final words here for Leo with love. Spirit. Mm. Somebody's afraid of rejection, you know, trying to make this wrong right and then being rejected. For others of you, they rejected you or you rejected them and you rejected them from the very beginning. Wow. Somebody rejected the other and then wondered, did I make the right decision? I made the wrong decision. They they wish they never did that. That's part of setting the scales right. But, you know, rejection is a form of God's protection. Maybe it wasn't time for you two to be together. Timing is always critical. Wow, but tell me more. Something about work. Something's going on with work. Your throat chakra. Talking about something that's going on in work. Maybe something is going on with work that the scales need to be balanced for some of you. Hmm. Compassion, helping somebody, being there for somebody. That's definitely part of making something right that is wrong, being there for somebody. Something's going on with work. Somebody's been rejected from work. Somebody has, I don't know. Somebody communicates negative things. I don't know what this is. We're going someplace else here. So I'm going to leave that there, Leo. I hope that you were able to identify with something that was said. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm just praying for the scales to be balanced. Because once we do what spirit is telling us to do through our intuition and we do our part, then we're free to move on, you know, regardless of what the outcome is, right? Doing what we're being told to do. And then that just opens us up for bigger things, to set higher intentions, to be this magician. And, you know, you we've learned a lesson from the, our past in love. And we don't have to repeat that. We can take the lesson, the part that we've learned, and apply it to the future without taking the drama, you know, without um, feeling regret, uh, without... <clears throat> 
holding on to something that we need to let go of so that something new can come in. That's kind of like where you are in terms of love. And and I see you doing that and I see spirit coming to help you. Uh, I've never seen anybody with 10 major arcanas, <laughs> Leo, except for you. And this is so a major spiritual leveling up. Um, making the evening the score. Yes. Um, wow. Let's pray for that. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Leo, thank you for hanging out to the end. Until the next moon phase, namaste.